Headers want almost 800,000 square meters of land in Delta State. And Nigeria is fast becoming a failed state under the APC, says Benue State Governor Samuel Otam. Well, this is Plus Politics. I am Mary Anna Kohn. It's good to have you join us. Well, following the move to ban open grazing of cattle in Delta State, the state chapter of the Cattle Dealers Association have demanded 750,000 square meters for livestock breeding and markets across the state. However, the state government in a swift reaction said lands for ranching in the state are for sale and advised the dealers to buy for their business. In another development, youths uh, who alleged that four persons were killed during the attack in Nimbo community in Enugu state said at least 10 others are still missing. While six sustained various degrees of injuries, they asked the Department of State Services, the DSS, to produce those who were responsible. Well, joining us to discuss this potpourri of issues is Usman Baba. He's the National Secretary of Mieti Allah. And we also have Barista uh, Chiku joining us. We also have Inefa Jodjwil uh, joining us uh, via Zoom. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Great. Um, I'm going to start with you, um, Barista Chuku. Uh, the, the, the thing here is land. And I think you and I have had this conversation before as to uh, who has powers to give land. And, you know, um, in terms of the case of the ban of open grazing by southern governors, um, the Mieti Ala and the Breed Castle Breeders Association are demanding, underline the word demand. Um, and, and, and I'm asking, is government under any law compelled to respond or obliged to um, these cattle wearers who are asking for land? Because now you're saying that they cannot openly graze. So are you going to offer them land? Okay. Uh, first, thank you for having me. The, I will start by saying that uh, I think Mieti Allah and the likes are heating up the polity. They are doing that by some of these statements. We all know that by law, all lands within a, a territory of a state is held on trust by the governor for the indigents of that state. That is the way it is in accordance with the law. If any or any group, whether Mieti Allah or any group whatsoever, wants land for, for grazing or for any purpose, there are a few ways that one can do that. Number one, you can purchase the land, and the land that you're purchasing must be within the within the the volume or within the number of land or quantity that the law allows you to. The, the, the Land Use Act gather a, a, a certain number or size of land that the Land Use Act does not allow an individual to uh, even allow the governor to give to or, or allocate to an individual. So if any group, whether Mietiela or whatever, uh, wants land, there are a few ways. One of the ways is to purchase land. Another way is to secretly talk to the governor to see whether there are a few lands or areas that the governor or the state can allocate for certain businesses. It is not to come out on air and say that you need 750,000 square land in Delta State. How many land, how many square meter of land is in Delta State? If we are talking about land, a vast land in Nigeria, which we'll be talking about the north. Nigeria has, Nigeria is made up of, I think, 931 or so uh, point something, 47 or there about square meters of land. And you're saying that you need 750,000 square meters of land uh, in Delta State. I don't understand. Some of these rhet uh, rhetorics are the, are the ones causing problems. If you want land, 
There are people that are building private universities everywhere. They don't come on air to tell people to say we need this quantity of land. Even the state government, when the state government wants to build a university, um, uh, uh, is looking for a land to establish an agricultural reserve or whatever. They don't come on air to say, to look at a particular ethnic group or a particular area and say, in that area, we need you to give us 10,000 or 750 square meters of land. Some of these rhetorics, we should, we should not allow people to, be, uh, to make such statements. But, 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 but could it also be, but, 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 but could it also be that these these cattle breeders association members have been given that feeling? Let's not forget that the ADF of this country appeared on national TV and juxtaposed the fact that uh, I tried to compare, you know, spare part dealers and these cattle breeders. Could it be that they have been given certain information or they've been made to believe that it is the place of the governments in the different states who have banned open grazing to give them access to land and, and, and allow them to do their businesses since they are not allowed to openly graze? Could there be some information gap? Yes, well, what I, we have said in that time, uh, the statement made by the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation was really made in bad text. It was not... Uh, I, I still want to believe that uh, maybe uh, we didn't understand what he meant, but if we look at the statement made contextually, we will say that that statement was made in bad light. There's no way you can imagine a spare pass, spare pass dealers coming to River State and telling River State government that we need 750,000 square meters of land and you must provide it. And that such land must have a veterinary clinic. It must have market. It must have this specification. Where is that done anywhere in the world? That's not how to do things. I have always said it. The way we are overheating this polity, the way we people, never has it happened before that people will stand up and make all kinds of statements. If you want land, even if you want more, much more than that quantity of land, you can approach state government, make proposals, send proposals to state government, send some group uh, intelligentsia or people that have vast knowledge in that area, in agriculture, to meet the government and talk with the government. Government will do cost-benefit analysis and see whether, whether the benefit that will agree to them. But you don't go on air. You make statements like, you, you want or you need 750,000, you could have as well take, take over the state. I don't like that statement. And, and the fact that government is allowing people to, to carry on like that or to make all kinds of statements, I do not think that should be allowed in a, in a country. It should not be allowed. You okay. can't come from anywhere. No human being on earth, where your right start ends is where another person's right begins. I can't, I can't go to, even, even in my state, and I tell the governor, I need 750,000 square meters of land, and that, that should be, or that must be provided for me. Okay. Even though I'm from that state, I can't make some statements. All right, let, let me bring we an should, effort we in. We should all condemn and deploy such statements. Such statements has the capacity of uh, uh, inflaming or, or causing problems in a state. Even if, the go even if government wants to provide land, even if government is willing to provide, let's say, 5,000 square meters, the, the rural person, the illiterate, the people that have no vast knowledge in agriculture or on how they demarcate land, once they hear that governor has extended or given a portion of land or portions of land to, to uh, that group, the conclusion will be is 750,000 square meters of land. We don't make such statement. It should not be. It should not be allowed. All right, all right. Let me go to Enefa. Enefa, you belong to the civil society's organization, and uh, Delta State has also been a point of sorts. Where we remember there was a, it could have been a fake, uh, you know, um, ultimatum that was posted about the governor. Uh, you know, a group of people were giving him an ultimatum as to this same issue. But then, I mean, that that ultimatum was discarded because you know they, they seem to be a faceless group but this is a group of people who are cattle breeders in delta state and they've made their demands clear in fact that's why i started by saying on the underline the word demand 
Now, could it also be that maybe we, the recipients of this information, are not um, understanding where they're coming from? I'm going to. I'm. I'm, I'm saying this because in uh, I think in Uyo in Akwaibom, there used to be a very famous. Um, I think it was called a goat market. So you had all the trailers, uh, all the. Uh, oh, and if I think we lost you, um, but I don't know if we have um, um, Mr. Baba on the line so he can speak to us. Yes. Um, so quickly, let, let Mr. Usman Baba just e explain to us what Mieti Ala means. Because like I said, in New York, um, they had a goat market. So all the trailers that brought the cattle, the goats, the yams from the north, they went to that market. And it was on the express. I think it was in, on Ikotek Bene Road. Could it be that they're asking for space and then maybe negotiate later for what they want to use the space for and maybe pay for it? And, and we're mis misconstruing it. Mr. Usman, can you explain to us what you think the cattle rearers or the cattle breeders meant by asking the Delta government for space and a market and, and, and um, all of the space they need to, you know, graze their cattle? Hello? Yes, we can hear you, Mr. Baba. Go ahead. Uh, uh, yes, thank you very much for having me. Um, you see, this... this uh, one of these things that we have been requesting for all this while, uh, because wherever this law is going to be promulgated, we always request there has to be a public hearing where all the stakeholders will be borrowed to, uh, uh, to, to discuss on the issue. So uh, what the data set government has done um, is quite encouraging and it's a welcome development because our members were invited at the public hearing and they have also had their own view for the committee to hear. Because um, wherever a law is promulgated, uh, the intention behind every law is to bring harmony in a particular society. Uh, so even the heart as, as uh, bona fide Nigerians, they deserve some attention wherever they live because um, they have their constitutional right um, to live ev everywhere in Nigeria, to coexist with each and every community in Nigeria and to also uh, be allowed to, to practice their trade, long as they will not be a nuisance uh, to, to anybody. So all that we are encouraging is this kind of thing. There has to be uh, a sort of um, um, stakeholders meeting before the promulgation of this law. So what the, what the Delta State Government has done, it's a welcome development. Our members were invited, they were there. They have also um, presented their own issues for the consideration of the House of Assembly. So uh, arising from that was uh, what brought about the request for, for, for some piece of land at least for their members to, for the members, for our members in Delta State to also uh, be considered uh, by the law. Uh, open grazing is, is something that uh, cannot be practiced even in the northern part of the country in the next 10, 20 years to come because of the growing population of both animals and human beings against a land that doesn't increase. So this calls for an effective planning uh, for farmers and herders to coexist uh, peacefully. So, but um, now, so, but now that, but now that governments have this decided because they have realized, like you have said, that it's becoming a problem, and and with the the fact that you know the the herders are nomadic in nature and they have to move from place to place, the governments are saying, well, for the health of the cows, um, for peace between the farmers and the herders, you you cannot be openly grazing anymore. You have to, if you must, then you must buy land, pay for it and have your space and do your business. But when you're asking the government to give you a particular uh, you know, um, land mass for you to do your business, are you asking for that space to pay for or you're asking the government to give it to you because of the ban that they've put, which is also going to stop you from openly grazing? This, Help us to understand what your demands this, are. This, this explanation must be contained in the document submitted by our members in Delta State. Uh, the document is there. They, they have presented their request to the House of Assembly for uh, for consideration. Um, whatever it is, um, the request is for them to also uh, be given attention to well, to, to this Let me give you let me give you some insight into let me give you some insights into the details of the request. They 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 they're saying that they want 
um, they recommend that to practically satisfy having an abattoir, a veterinary clinic, they want a livestock market, an administrative office, uh, they want a security post as provided by section 2B and 2G section 2 um, in their recommendation. They're asking that there they should be a, a market provided for them. They should provide a designated area that shall comprise of a minimum of 30,000 square meters of land. This is what they're asking. They also acknowledge that 5,000 meters uh, mentioned in section 82A of the recommendation that they put out is only a minimum. So they want a maximum of 8,000. They say it is our modest way uh, or it's our modest view uh, that even the minimum of 5,000 square meters of land may not be the best starting point. And this is the explanation. We're quoting them. Um, the explanation there is, this is what we want. This is what we need. This is what we need. I do not see us say, um, you know, in, in, the, in the recommendation where they, they spoke about um, negotiations as to whether they will pay for it. And I want to, I'm sorry, talk about the spare part dealers. Um, we have, for example, in River State, there is what they call Ikoku, and it's the a long spread of spare part dealers. And all of these people pay for those shops. They, they, they're responsible for keeping that area clean and, and you know, making sure that there's no traffic, even though sometimes you know, there's traffic. So um, if your, your association is asking for all of these things, is there room for consideration that they will have to pay for these spaces because that's a huge chunk of land, and if it must be given, then there has to be money exchanging hands between the association and the government. Don't you think so? Um, well, um, you see, on the issue of abattoir and the market, uh, that one does not need much explanation because um, wherever there is a market, that market must either be owned by, 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 by the local government or, or the state government. And all the local government has the power uh, to collect uh, revenue on each and every market. It is happening even in the northern part of the country. Definitely. On abattoir, too, on abattoir is an absolute responsibility of a local government or a state, depending uh, on the nature of the abattoir, whether it is a modernized, a large abattoir, or a small one that uh, can be maintained by the local government, whatever it is. Uh, these things are intended to generate revenue for the local government and the state, wherever they are established. It is happening in the northern part of the country. Abattoirs have been established uh, for, for, for butchers to kill the animals and pay a certain amount of money for maintenance. And, and these are part of the local government responsibilities and part of the local government sources of, uh, of, of revenue. So there is no much quarrel about the market uh, and the abattoir. What is new is this issue of, 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 of grazing areas. Uh, if, if an area is designated by law for grazing, it's now up to the government to decide on what to do. Let me give you an example on a state. One parish was the governor there. Uh, we had, we, we had a similar, uh, problem of conflict between farmers and others during the era of parish. We went there, we mitigated between the farmers and the, and the, and the others. So what took place there was, um, a sort of understanding was entered into that the first country from both sides must be punished. If it is a farmer who, who kills uh, a husband's cow without any reason, he must be made to pay uh, for the cow he kills as he, he goes to the prison at the same time. And if uh, as a herder allows his cow to stray into somebody's farm and make differences, he has to pay for, for, for the product that was destroyed by his cow. And he will equally go to jail. And what Fireshe did then, he said he doesn't have crazy reserves in AKT, but he has game reserves. So he, he has allowed all the pastoralists to go and stay in those game reserves so, uh, while they will be riding their cows. But, but whoever is staying in a particular game reserve must go and register with the local government uh, by paying 5,000 naira to the local government. At least for the local government to identify the social family or social number of cows is staying in source of place. So this type of thing, there are simple arrangements that can be made between the government and our members in that state. Uh, we are not against any source of revenue. Me, I am, I am from Yobi State. I'm an indeed from Yobi State. Now that I speak to you, I'm, I'm speaking to you from Damatur and in Yobi State right now. Mm -hmm. Yobi State has recently uh, promulgated a law for, for, for cattle tax. 
We are going to begin to collect tax on each and every cattle in your state. So these are things that can be done through uh, uh, through peaceful uh, dialogue okay. and understanding. Because okay. when you designate an area for grazing, it's up to the state government to say, well, others who, who are Sorry. living in these areas, we want to register them, we want to know them for security purposes, we want well, to know the number thank of you for, they Thank have. you for bringing me to, to that because they have for thank you for bringing. So this is this is the, an arrangement that can be made okay. between our members there you. and the state government. I hear you. Thank you for bringing that up because I was going to ask you. Now the commissioner for information in Delta State responded because, like you said, this conversation was between lawmakers uh, in the state and the Cattle Breeders Association. Now I'm going to quote the information commissioner directly. Uh, his name is Charles Anyago. He did say uh, that um, the state, well, he said that you people were talking to just lawmakers, but as a state, they have made it very clear that anybody who wants to do ranching should buy land and start their ranch. So the government is saying that demand for space for land has to be accompanied by money. And that's why I asked you earlier on, and you're saying that it's government's responsibility, but they're saying, and I'm quoting Mr. Charles uh, Anyagu, who is the information commissioner of Delta State, he's saying, if you must, if you want to ranch in our state, you must buy the land for you to be able to ranch. And we're talking about 8,000 square meters, 8,000, it's a lot of land. But also another issue that was raised was the fact that there are people who are rogue um, herders within and among you in a different state, whether it's in the north or in the south. Uh, and and it, should it not be the responsibility of Mieti Allah to fish out the, the, the people who are hiding under the guise of being herders and committing atrocities, especially going into farmland um, and destroying fa you know, the farms, of uh, people's farms? And sometimes people get into altercations and somebody ends up dying. Should the Mieti Allah not be doing whatever it takes to make sure that they clear their names so that they, they're not affiliated or associated with these people who are carrying out these dastardly acts? Um, see, as an association, uh, Mieti Allah is a peaceful association. Mieti Allah is never a violent association. I will never be a violent association. Mieti Allah does not condone criminality. I will never support criminality under whatever form. Um, Mieti Allah represents those peaceful herders who go around doing their peaceful cattle-rearing business. We don't represent any criminal. We don't represent any 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 bandit or whatsoever. This is a peaceful association. This is an association that has eminent the Sultan of Sokoto as the chairman board of trustee for Mieti Allah Cattle Breeder Association of Nigeria. So we are a peaceful association. So what you are saying now is you are telling me the, the statement of a Commission of Information of Delta State. While we are talking of, of a law I'm listening. that is about to be promulgated by the Delta State House of Assembly, the Delta State House of Assembly is the legislative arm of Delta State government. While the Commission of Information is, is a bureaucrat, he is speaking from the point of view of, 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 of the executive. But the power, so, but two, the power, to, but the power to give things, you land are, lies within the state. It lies within the state government. The I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Baba. The, the powers or, to give you, you allocate land is, is, uh, I mean, the box stops at the table of the, the state government. And the executive is in charge of that, not the lawmakers. So whether you like it or not, they're part of this conversation. You really can't rule them out, can you? So what, what, what we are supposed to do is to wait and see the outcome of the, of, the, of, the, of the law that is going to be promulgated by the lawmakers. But the duty of it is um, stakeholders uh, are supposed to be invited for public hearing and they are invited in Delta, in Delta State for public hearing. Their views have been submitted to the House of Assembly for, for consideration. Uh, okay. uh, so that is all we require, and we hope the House of Assembly, as the legislative arm of government, will do justice, will see the personalists as bona fide citizens who have rights and privileges to reside and coexist anywhere in this country. Okay, um, that, and, and, okay I'm going to come back to you because you haven't answered the other question I asked, but Enefa got, got Judge Will is back. Um, we lost him for a second uh, due to back connection. Enefa, you've heard what... Um, 
uh, Mr. Usman Baba has said about the issue uh, in Delta. He's saying that it's, it's the duty of the legislature to come up with whatever law. But of course, all the, uh, I think about 17 governors in the South had decided that they were going to stand by the ban on open grazing. And I've spoken about what the, the Commissioner for Information in the state has said about this situation and the demands that are being made by the Cattle um, Rarers Association. But uh, I did ask him a question that he did not answer as to fishing out the bad eggs. Four people have been allegedly uh, said to be killed in Enugu. Uh, ten are still missing. And, you know, they are still tagging it uh, as, you know, herdsmen attacking farmers in Enugu state. And I did ask a question, how do we, for example, if you were a group of Okada riders and they say Okada riders are killing people, um, should that not be not just the job of security or places, but Okada Riders Association to take it upon themselves to make sure that they fish out these bad eggs? Or uh, am, I, am I speaking out of term here, Nefa? Yeah. Um, good evening once again. I, I, I'm sure you hear me very clearly. Are you? Uh, Can you hear me? And if I think that Can we're having a serious connection problem with you, so uh, I'm going to have to let you go and come back in. But let me go to Baista Chuku. Baista Chuku, can you help me? Um, can you speak on what I just asked uh, Menefa, if you can? Yes. Uh, um, I think when an ad is given an association, an association, Station that has a preponderance of people that are alleged to be involved in, in that crime. That association has a duty to ensure that those crimes or activities that tend or that gives bad image to that association, it's, it has a duty to organize its group in a manner and in a way that will show that that association is not the one promoting that time uh, uh, illegal or criminal activities. There is nothing wrong. Like if you, if you go to some states, like in those states, you will see that, that all legally authorized Okada riders in a do state that has a verse. That verse contains number. That number is already known. That number was issued to them in conjunction with the Okada riders. So the, the Mieti Allah also has a duty in this instance because all the things that have been happening across the states, most times the people end up uh, uh, ascribing those things to them. So Mieti Allah should come out with a possible best way of identifying their members. And by so doing, they would have also assist or assisted government in, in curbing the excesses of those criminal uh, headers that are ravaging communities. Then again, secondly too, I, I heard uh, the interaction, what you asked him regarding, to, regarding the position of the executive in Delta State. I think the, no matter how anybody sees it, you, you cannot wish away the executive. The legislative arm only has a duty to make law. And that law has to be laws that will help in the smooth governing of that particular state. It's, uh, you know, the, my quarrel, my problem with, with the tone of this request is that the world wants, the world requests, the world uh, uh, need is attached to it. I know that over time, like if a group of people or a community visit the governor or the president, the tone of requests always will be government please establish this kind of establish a grazing site or a grazing reserve government establish a, a ranch so that anybody anybody whether the person is from 
belongs to Mieti Allah or belongs to another association or a new association that will come on stream will also have right to, to graze in that particular land. Mm. What I quarrel about or what I don't like is this exclusivity in the whole demand and the whole want. Exclusivity to the extent that give us, give us, give me the Allah or give uh, death and state freedoms and subordination. That's what I quarrel with. Because if the state government comes out and say we are establishing a a, 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 an agricultural reserve or a grazing reserve. It mm. means that government has, a, who, uh, has established or will establish that for the benefit of everybody. Okay. Not to hand over that to 8,000 okay. square meters of land. There are some local government uh, uh, areas in, in Nigeria that well, are not up to 8,000 square, uh, square meters of land. Well, almost out of time. Over 8,000 square meters of land to a, to a particular group. Well, almost out of no, time. I don't, I, I don't subscribe to that. All right. Well, quickly, let's go back to Mr. Usman Baba in closing. Um, I, I would really like for you to answer the question that I asked. How does Mieti Allah in, um, d d intend to fish up these criminal acts within them or the people who are under the guise of castle breeders or herdsmen and are perpetrating acts of violence? Like I said, Enugu... There's an, there's an outrage right now in Enugu as to people who have been killed. Four, ten are still missing. And they are saying these people uh, are herders. So really, you can't say that it's, it's bad to crop or lump everybody in one category. But unfortunately, these people are disguised as your people. What do you intend to do to clear your good name? Um, you see, madam, we are never against uh, anything that can bring peace to any state. We are never against it at all. Uh, we are never against uh, every government can allow collaborators or members to 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 take count of those personalists who are residing in each and every state, at least for the purpose of um, security. Uh, you see, uh, as I told you earlier, we don't represent criminals. We are a peaceful association. We I don't know. condone criminality. We don't like it. Uh, what people don't know because of the negative media profiling that has been consistent for over three, five years, uh, profiling negatively the pastoralists uh, or each and every Fulani as a criminal. That is where the problem is. While the Fulanis uh, are also victims of these crimes, for how many times have you been hearing bandits attacking a particular community, uh, uh, cutting away with thousands of uh, wrestling of thousands of cows? taking away thousands of cows with them. These cows belong to pastoralists. Wherever cows are stolen, whether in the south or in the northern part of the country, 95% cows in this country are owned by the Fulani. They are owned by the pastoralists. They are the, the owners of the cows in this country. Today, we have lost over 3 million cows as a result of cattle wrestling. Just imagine how many families were rendered for as a result of this criminality. So what and do you intend to do to put an end to it? By, 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 by kidnapping and banditry. So, but because of this negative profiling, people today associate any form of crime to the husband, whether it is done by the husband or not. And criminality doesn't discriminate. And how do you intend to clear your name? I'm coming, I'm coming to your question. I'm coming to your question. So we are never, we are never against, uh, just like the Okada did, we are never against this type of sin. But you will never do this in isolation. You have to seek the consent of the state government before you come and do such a thing. But because of this media profiling that has profiled the pastoralists negatively in each and every part of the South, no governor will even give you attention to come and do this thing. Until, okay. when, until when the whole situation is clearly understood that even the pastoralists who are moving, doing their legitimate business, are also victims of criminality, are also victims of kidnappers, are also victims of petrol wrestlers, are also victims of, of bandits. We are, our members are also victims. In fact, they okay. are at the receiving end of, of, of all these vices that are taking place today in the country. Well, we have to go. Unfortunately, it sounds like you really don't know what you can do to change the situation. Of course, we also know that there's cattle rustling and the issue of, you know, your people being victimized. But one would really wonder... 
what you have planned to, you know, clear all of this off. But we want to thank you, Usman Baba. Uh, he's of the Mieti Allah Cattle Breeders Association. We also had uh, Barista Obina Chiku, who joined us live from Port Hackett. And uh, we also had Enefa George Real, he uh, is of the CSO. Unfortunately, uh, Bad Connection didn't let us hear anything he had to say. Thank you, gentlemen, for being part of the conversation. We appreciate it. Thank you All right. for having us. Well, we'll take a short break. Thank you all for being part of the conversation. When we return, we will discuss the Benue State Governor's position that Nigeria is fast becoming a failed state. Stay with us. <laughs>